I've got to get I've got to jump on my own bandwagon here and see what everything sounds like. Absolutely. Well, we look forward to that movie, and, and the album is uh, by George. The movie is Bachman. The band is Bachman, and we want our listeners to go out and check you out live. You have so many different opportunities. One last question I want to ask you, Randy, is you come from a remarkable generation of rock stars that have a longevity and an incredible hardiness to them. We're never going to see this again, as you well know, where that we have grown up with them and we continue to go see them and the songs are still played and they're active and involved. And what do you think it is about your class of rock stars that has such endurance? Well, we came from a great pedigree and that we were called war babies. We were born like in the 40s, maybe. Right. Some in the late 40s, early 50s. Our, what we learned music from was Elvis, Chuck Berry, Bo Diddley, Little Richard. Do you know what I mean? The, the doo-wop, the bluegrass, the guys like Elvis who put it all together, the gospel, the bluegrass, the rockabilly, the Beatles who put it all together, and the great songwriters that came from Carole King and Burt Bacharach and Brian Wilson and Lennon and McCartney. We all wrote really great songs. We, uh, we were all given music lessons by our parents. I remember my mother when I was five saying, what do you want to play? We're going to give you music lessons. We can't afford it, but we're going to somehow squeeze by. And I, I took classical violin from the age of five to 14. Wow. Then I saw Elvis on TV and switched to guitar. Wow. Uh, I was a road warrior. I left school. I went on the road. Everybody who's a classic rocker went on the road. There was no MTV. There was no national radio. You had to go city to city, station to station, and meet the DJs and be buddies with them. And if they liked your music and they played it, and if Wolfman or Alan Freed or Dick Beyondy played your record and millions of people heard it, you had a hit record. You had to go out and work the work and walk the walk and talk the talk. Now it's just, it's bypassed all of that stuff. I've got kids and grandkids now who love this music. I took my grandkids. I was in the States for Thanksgiving in November. I took my grandkids. I got five of them in Utah wow. to see uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. And the 60-year-old, my oldest grandson, came and said, I've had it with all my rap records. They're all, they all got potty words in it, which is what they call swear words. Right. And I, I want Queen for Christmas. I want Queen's Best of Hits in vinyl. I want a record player. Right. So now they're coming here. Within two weeks, I'm taking... I've got 28 tickets. I'm taking my kids and grandkids <laughs> to see Jeff Lynn's ELO. Uh-huh. Because they all know ELO. They all love Jeff Lynn's ELO. Then to see McCartney a week later. Wow. And then a week later to see, to, a week later to see Queen. Wow. So me, I, I and believe me, this cost me thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars. <laughs> the tickets, the tickets are worth two and three hundred bucks each. So oh, I'm getting sure. like 22, 25 tickets, but we're all sitting together. Nice. And it's really a thrill to go there with my children who grew up on this music. And now they're playing it for their grandchildren. And to see my grandkids singing McCartney and Jeff Lynn and Queen stuff is the most loving thrill a thing you can have as a grandparent or a parent and i love looking in my audience and i can see the grandfather right who's kind of my age he's in his 60s or yep, something yep. i can see his son who's maybe in his 40s and i can see their their son who's in his 20s or teenager yep they all love the music maybe the kids in a band i meet them after the show they love classic rock i love classic rock i'm doing this sweetheart tour like i said with america and todd rundgren and cheap trick uh next valentine's day in 2020 i'm looking forward to it these guys are old friends of mine i just did nine dates with leonard skinner it was great to see them again i hadn't played with them since the 70s it's just really great to get out there and do these classic rock festivals and meet all these guys it's like guys used to play basketball or hockey against when you were a teenager you get to see them again because right. we were all on shows together yep. back in the 70s me and zz top and charlie daniels and right allman brothers and yep. things like that it's just great to it's great to see they're still rocking in the free world I'm going to see neil young in two weeks and i haven't seen him for about a year or two at his birthday in la but i see him every so often and it's just really great to sit down and have dinner and just talk about the old days and the new days and that we're still alive and rocking in the free world it's amazing Check us out on Facebook at Dave and Dave Unchained Van Halen Podcast, on Twitter at DD Unchained, on Instagram at DD Unchained Podcast, and you can email us at DD Unchained Podcast at gmail.com. 
Hello. You ready? Okay. Okay, here we go. Make this quick. We are going to plow through these very efficiently. I promise you. All right, you ready? Promise me. I promise you. Promise you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. I swear on the life of Eddie Money. <laughs> well, my friend, my friend. My friend, my friend. Oh, All right, let's do this. Oh, my friend. Yo, Mrs. Money, get me a hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, post mortem they will finally release the entire acoustic concert. That's true. Wouldn't that be nice? I think the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame should consider them. How do you like that? Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm sorry. I think a, a blue collar. I don't. Like uh, yeah, but oh, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. Two tickets to paradise. Baba man's the lead tonight. If I sound like I'm constipated all the time, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? ready? Here we go. I'm ready. <laughs>